fiberglass and right now we're just cleaning the fiberglass with PBS before trypsinization. Okay, so by you mean cells? Yeah, fiberglass cells. Uh, are so, so it's a okay. fiberglass are cells that are labeled as FB. Okay. What else can you tell me about fiberglass? Uh, okay. <laughs> tell me. Don't be shy. So these are really good for cell culturing because these are easier to handle. These have less contamination issues compared to all the kind of cells. So in basic in basic cell culturing techniques, we just use fiberglass as okay. a graduate student here. So by easier to handle, do you mean like proliferative um, ability and all those stuff? Yeah, that also falls under handling because compared to other cells, these are highly uh, confluent in less amount of time. Okay. Plus, these have less contamination, as I said earlier. Okay. And they die hard, so I mean, they're uh, hard to die. Oh, I mean, if oh, you get oh, it. Oh, yeah. They're they hard to die. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I thought you said they die yeah. hard. <laughs> they, don't need, no, yeah. they don't need that much care like other cells. So. Oh, okay. So, so what are those pink stuff that we're looking at? So right now we just cleaned it with PBS. Okay. Now we are adding a chemical known as trypsin. So what trypsin. it does is, it, right now we have cells on the base of this plant, the okay. petri dish. So basically this this solution over there, yeah. that's called trypsin, will uh, break the bond between the cells and the flask. Oh, and by bones, you mean actually bonds, right? Yeah, bones. Actually, actually the bones that cell form with the flask. And they do break the bone and then cell are free from the flask. Bones and we can use the cells. Uh, it's so, an accent, bro. <laughs> what is what saying over here? <laughs> I need a cigarette. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll, I'll, Actually, cut, I'll cut that out. <laughs> and you can cut my face too because I should be wearing a mask but I don't feel like wearing it No, today. it's okay. The school has actually lifted the COVID policies as it relates it's to It's like not just for COVID, masks. I mean for cells. If I speak like this, it's okay. But yeah. I cannot speak like this. So. Oh, okay, that's good. I guess I'm doing fine, out. yeah, like this. Yeah. So we're incubating for how many minutes? For five, five minutes. minutes. And what are the conditions that we're incubating? Um, 37 degrees Celsius and 5% CO2. Okay. Sure. Did you press start? Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Thank you. So now... Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. So it's out of the so we're going to check the cells have detached. As you can see, it has like a slimy look. So that means the cells have detached, but we're just going to confirm. So how do we confirm? We check and you see like the cells form um, round shapes. They form round shapes in the... Um, when you look at What's them, the name of the device that we use to confirm? Inverted microscope. This is an inverted microscope. Okay. Yeah. So, sorry for so many questions, but what's the benefit of using an inverted microscope in comparison to a regular light microscope? So, um, the orientation is different with the lenses and it helps you see cells better. So it's better for um, cells of this size. Okay. Yeah. And also, is it because like the inverted microscope is good for viewing like live images or images of live organisms? Is that a possibility? No. Um, that as well. That could also play a better. Well, I know that it's useful viewing more microscopic cells. Okay. And it's better when the light is you know, shining from from below, right? Um, it will create like a greater. What would I say? The, just the, the, the illumination helps with like the, the, the visuals whenever you're viewing and the light is shining from bottom up rather than from top down. Yeah. So the rearrangement of the inverted microscope is better for um, how the cells are viewed. Okay. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> what? <laughs> but I already kept it. So, 
we're sanitizing, guys. They always sanitize because remember that we're working with cells and we don't want to follow her. Hold on, wait on me, wait on me. That is Dr. Wad. Is there anything here? Is there anything here? Ah, no, you can open. So, this is um, 3 ml. Yeah. So, we're going to level it up. Okay. So, why are you centrifuging? We're trying to get the cells that we see there, separate the cells from the um, trypsin. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, but I don't, it doesn't matter though. You just need a. It does? Oh, for ourselves. Okay, it does. Is it DI water? Yeah, it's DI water. So, what's the RPM that you're going to centrifuge at? Two hundred R um, G. Yeah. So you so might want to change that. That's three thousand. Yeah. So we have to put it on the same side. So on the balance out. Okay. Thank you very much. You might want to change your RPM. So this is. Um, Thirty-seven. 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 Enter. Yeah, that's okay. It will. It will. It will work its way up. Yeah. So we're going to wait for five minutes. Okay. Still making video. Yes, I am. It's actually running right now. Can you see it from there? Yeah, I'm so seeing it. The liquid over here is basically the trypsin that we poured previously, yeah. and the solid kind of thing that you can see a palette basically is cells. These are cells. So I'm gonna throw off the liquid me liquid from here, the trypsin, and I'm gonna save the cells and mix it with media to subculture. Okay, That's and by throw off you mean um, pipette, uh, right? Sorry. By throw off you mean pipette or? Yeah, pipette. Okay, pipette. No, in a sense, just basic language. I'm gonna aspire it off. Yeah. That's the right word, aspire. Yeah. yeah. So you have to be really careful on this one. You don't wanna hurt that palette. Oh, okay. So since I didn't touch anywhere else, I can use the same pipette. Yeah. Basic. Tools. Okay. Understood. This is the most important part. So what will we do with the pellet? So for now we'll save it. And after throwing, I mean after aspirating these liquids, I'm gonna mix it with media, the cell culture media. It's kind of food for the cells, right? So I'm gonna mix it. You're gonna with mix it. the pellet with cell culture media? Yeah. What's that media called? DMEM, Dolbicose Modified Eagles Medium. We use it for fibroblasts. Okay. And yeah, so this is the palette that we received. So now I'm gonna add media on it. Okay. So as per our calculation, we need kind of five ml, right? Because we have to aspire it here and here. So I'm gonna make five ml of the total solution. It's called cell solution. Okay. It's still running in the incubator to take one hour, one and a half hour, so we're stopping it at 520. Yeah. One hour. Yeah. So let's do seven. Right? So we can 
seven. Why did you pour seven? So, seven means we need six ml for this 24 well plates. That's the overall, six ml is the overall? Yeah, and we need just one ml for this T25 flask. Okay. One ml of cell solution, sorry. Okay. So we're just calculating the amount of cell solution. Okay. So what's that? You're taking more DMEM? Yeah. yeah, we did five before because we So you're adding two more milliliters? Yeah. Okay. So do we have to subculture every day? No. It depends on how confluent your cells are. Okay. So we subcultured last on last Friday. Okay. So that's about um, four days. Four days, days from. Yeah. Okay, so. It really um, depends on cells. Okay, understood. But since you guys first um, culture the fibroblast cells, right? Mm -hmm. um, you have guys been working with one. T25 flask since then? You guys been just sub subculturing from that one T25 flask? Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. So, do you guys, have you guys like freeze any of those um, subcultures? No, not yet. No, not yet. Okay. We need to have extra cells to freeze them. Right now, we just had one. one You're just working yeah, with one? one. Of it, so. Oh, okay. So you're gonna put, um, are you going to put cell solution in all of those wells in the 24 well plates? Uh, or how many? Oh, six just six. six? Okay. Yeah. So you are say you said that you would put one ml of the cell solution in the T25 flask? No, we just put 0.5 ml of cell solution mm -hmm. and 0.5 ml of cell, cell media. Okay. Cell culture media. Okay. Yeah, but if you're using like six, mm -hmm. right? You're gonna use just, that's like three milliliters, right? Plan. We were supposed to put okay, okay, okay. One centimeter. Okay. But now we're doing this point five. So do you need to mix um, no, the I pellet? Mixed it. You mix the pellet already with this. Okay. Yeah. How did you mix it? Uh, with the up and down movement of fiber tips. It's okay. really simple. You just need to do it like this. You just bring your fiber tip here and mix it gently. One sec. So can you, can you see here, my see so should the pipe be touching the bottom of the um, uh, centrifuge it's not flask? Necessary. It's not necessary. Okay. Mm -hmm. But if it does, it's not a problem as well, right? It's not a problem. But the thing is, I have a lot of volume in this one, right? Okay. So I just don't want to dip in total. So. Okay. But is it advisable for you to like shake the flask up mm -hmm. and down, up and down? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's harmful for the cells. I mean, you don't want to harm the cells with extra pressure. Okay. So I'm just pouring 0.5 of cell solution into each of the wells for the first six wells. Okay. And after you pour those um, cell solution, right? Mm -hmm. What else will you add? So we'll add 0.5 of media. Okay. Cell culture media. 
Okay. So for now the rest is how much? Four ml, right? Yeah. So we we are going to transfer these four ml into this one. Understood. Mm -hmm. But why do we need to add zero point five ml of the cell culture media if we already have the cell solution mixed with the ha the cell solution already yeah. consists of the yeah, it's EMEM? A good, it's a good question. So for these flasks, the T two oh, sorry. For 25 well plates, 24. The, uh, 24 well plates, the total volume it can hold is 1 ml according yeah. to Thermo Fishers. Okay. So we can add up to 1 ml but it's not mandatory. Okay. So just for the sake of cells, so they eat well, I mean in basic language, so they grow well, we're just adding the full volume which is 1 ml. Understood. We can leave it like this also but okay. we just want to add more. Alright, and that's a very good answer as well. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Hope you understood. Most definitely. So, Miss Sarah, mm -hmm. what are we? No, why are we culturing these cells? Like, what's the overall objective that we're trying to meet? Uh, so, we're using it to um, do an experiment with liposomes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, after culturing these cells, we're going to put them in liposomes, and we're going to see how they um, how they react. Okay. what happens to them and we're going to measure how well the liposomes um, how good of a drug delivery um, yeah. system the liposome is so okay. that's why we're using fibroblast cells okay. yeah. so you're going to pretty much encapsulate the cells inside yes. the liposomes inside the liposomes okay then you're going to pretty much do different type of testing to see the efficiency of the liposomes exactly. okay as it relates to I guess maybe this person, those cells are keeping those cells. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And just various tests, as much as we can, as much as our um, minds are able to be involved. So, okay. Yeah. We're just going to experiment on it. Okay. That's good. Sounds very interesting. Yeah. It's pretty cool. And guys, remember that the COVID vaccine. That's like a vaccine that they use, like liposomes or lipids, to actually bring the mRNA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so liposomes production is very cool. It's very fragile as well, so it takes a good team to get it done. After incubation, and what would be the next step? So it will be just waiting for them to grow. Okay. So it depends how long we take. So we're gonna uh, so see it every single day. Yeah. And if needed, then we can do subculture or change the media and we alternate days. Okay, but 
you say that you will pretty much leave them to grow, right? Yeah. So it will be inside the incubator for an expanded amount of time? Uh, most probably 42 hours. Two hours. Yeah. To have like 50% confluence in them. Mm -hmm. And after that two hours, where do you keep it? No, two hours. 42 hours. Oh, 42, 42 hours. hours. Okay, all right. Uh, approximately two days. Okay. So that's after like... After that, if they okay, I get you. fill up with the well, we're gonna... We, we will have to just change the well plates. Okay. And as for our plan for now, we are going to save this one. Yeah. And we're going to use this one for liposome project. So we'll okay. just save it. Okay. We don't have a really good Alright, so what are we doing now? So, now is the final step where we are saving these cells in the incubator. 37 degrees Celsius, 5% uh, CO2. So we okay. have to wait for at least 72 hours, sorry, 42 hours. And okay. change the media or subculture as per the requirement. Okay. okay Alright, thank you very much. <laughs>